Thoughts on the game? Uh, disappointed. Um, at this time of the year, we should execute better. Um, we had a uh, we had a stretch, I think, from maybe the 12 minute mark to the 8 minute mark, where we just couldn't get out of our own way. Um, two illegal screens, missed front end of the free throw. We threw the ball away a couple times, and uh, you know, not only is it bad for you know keeping score, but it's deflating. And and um, when you when you have a season like we've had, um, where you know we've had a lot of close losses, you could just see it wearing on their faces. Um, kind of here we go again type deal. Um, I know we're young, but at this time of the year, we, we, we have to get past that type of stuff, and uh, it's very frustrating. Well, it was a pretty cold shooting night for both teams. Um, for you guys on offense, did you think it was the shots weren't falling or you weren't getting good looks? No, I thought it was a decently well-played defensive game on both ends. Teams were in position. Um, we got good looks. I mean, we missed numerous layups. Um, Cody Tomlinson was obviously very hot. The rest of them... Uh, you know, just didn't get a lot of great shots, but uh, I, I didn't think it was uh, a very poorly played defensive game at all. I thought both teams had uh, contested shots. Uh, you know, in the end, the the winning team in Moorhead um, made plays when they needed to. They stepped up and made shots when they needed to, and we showed our youth, showed our experience, and showed why we've struggled all year. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, you mentioned you played well. Um, what do, what do you think was the key to that? Did you stick to your game plan? Really uh, well, they're starting to figure out what being like college basketball players is supposed to be. Um, we have some talent, but we have really struggled to understand the concentration and all that goes into being a college basketball player. And it's been a really difficult transition for this group of guys. Uh, not you know obviously we got all the freshmen, but even the sophomores didn't play a whole lot last year. So everything is a new experience, and and they're having a really difficult time being the high school kid that could just rely on talent and now having to think through things and really concentrate for 40 minutes. It's been a struggle for us. Um, well, looking at the box score, it's pretty even all the way around. Um, if you could pick one thing, you know, that really put more head ahead, what do you think was the key? Well, in the end, they made some shots down the stretch. Kretschmann made one. I know Beniga made one. Um, Aaron Lean made a couple shots when they needed to. I mean, it was a, you know, a four or six point game going back and forth. And, uh, you know, we had some opportunities. Um, we, we had a missed layup and then two missed tip-ins. We did, they, At the end of the day, they, they made the plays and we didn't. And um, that's been kind of how the year's gone. Well, uh, you guys start a new season in a way. Um, next week in the NSIC tournament, you got a chance to make some noise. What do, you, what do you need to do to bounce back for that? Well, you know, college basketball is a unique sport in that it's very one of the very few that uh, we've played all these games and now it goes down to a one-game season and everyone starts 0-0. Zero and zero. So if we can continue, I thought we played well this weekend. Uh, we didn't play a full 40 minutes. We got beat by two very good teams. But I thought for, you know, for 80 minutes, we played well for the vast majority of them. Uh, if we can continue to do that for one more game and, and maybe shoot a little bit better, maybe finish a few plays down the stretch when it really counts, uh, you know, I like our chances. But uh, you know, so far this year, we've struggled to finish things out. All right. Well, thanks, Matt. Thank you.